All right, I'm going to be converting this standard mountain bike. It's a Kona Mahuna to an e-bike with this Bafang e-bike conversion kit. So this is a thousand watt conversion kit. It has I got a 13 amp hour battery. This is separate. I also picked up a crank removal tool. This is separate. And I had to pick up one of these specialty tools. So I'm hoping I have everything to do this build here. Uh, so if you see my other videos, I've done reviews on different prefab bikes, prefab e-bikes you can get. Uh, but I really wanted to build my own today. So lots of benefits to building your own e-bike. Um, one of the things is when you buy a prefab one, a lot of the times they're limited to a certain speed or power. Uh, I wanted to get something that would go maybe a little bit faster, a little bit more power for off-road. So I went with the Bafang 1000 watt. Uh, it's a 13 amp hour battery. I probably will be upgrading this, but I just wanted to go maybe on the cheaper side just to see if I like the kit. Now I did also order a 750 watt Bafang motor kit. So I'm going to be installing that probably in that other bike there. But I'm going to start with this one, and then once I get them built, I'm going to do a review and a comparison between the 750 and the 1000 watt Bafang. All right, so the most important thing when doing these conversions, you got to find a bike that's compatible. So I'm hoping this one is. Um, so my bottom bracket here is 68 millimeters, and I think there's a 100 and there's another size, but I did get a 68 millimeter conversion kit. So I'm hoping it fits with no issues. I was told to get a few spacers. I picked up some of these spacers, so I'm hoping everything uh, works out here. Okay, so I got the bottom bracket off, and I'm trying to slide the motor in, but for some reason, it's a little tapered, kind of like an hourglass in the middle. So when you slide the motor in, it gets stuck about halfway. I found a shortcut that takes about one minute. Zzz, get it all the way done. In my experience, it's very tedious. It takes a long time. I've done it where, depending on your bit that you have, it could take an hour. <laughs> Literally, if, you're, if you don't have the right bit or the right tool, it could take a very long time. Is getting a metal hole saw bit. Uh, 33 millimeter is what I use. You get them on Amazon for about 15 bucks. It makes your life way easier. And it, if it's just small enough where it'll, it'll fit in there all the way. So I got a drill here, the sandpaper thing I kind of rigged up and I'm just trying to drill out the center. So I did uh, go on YouTube and I found uh, Johnny Nerdout had uh, posted, he's run, run into this issue occasionally, not very often, but about 10% of mountain bikes uh, do have the tapered on the inside here. So what he actually does is take a wood drill bit um, and cut this out, but I don't have one and I wanna try to install this tonight. So I'm gonna keep going at this. And all right, so I got the Bafang 1000 watt kit all installed here. I ran into a couple issues um, getting the bottom bracket to fit. So I had to grind it out a bit, but it, it did work. I am gonna have to adjust the derailleur a little bit, but it does work fine. So it should have took me maybe an hour to do this install. Ended up taking me uh, a couple hours just because it was my first time. But if I have to do this again, I definitely think I could probably build one of these in about an hour. So here's my cable management. I try to keep it as tight as possible. Uh, which took it for my first ride. It goes very fast, uh, 50 kilometers an hour, no problem. So I was really torn between getting the 750 watt and the 1000 watt. So I thought, well, why not just buy them both, build two bikes, try them side by side and, and see if it's worth the upgrade to the, the 1000 watt over the 750. So my wife, I'm gonna build her the 750. I'm hoping that she likes it more and we'll probably maybe sell our other bikes. But I don't know, let's try it out for now, see how it goes. The 750 watt that I bought, I paid 13.80 for, but it does have a 20 amp hour battery. Uh, if I were to buy this kit on eBay or Amazon with the 13 amp hour battery, I think you're looking at about 1600 plus tax. So I got a bit of a good deal on it. Um, all in, bike, motor, the whole kit, everything with the battery, 1550. So you can always look on your local marketplace or classifieds. You can find dealers that uh, they buy these in bulk and you might be able to get one cheap. All right, so the next video, I'm gonna be putting the 750 kit Bafang on the other bike over here, a 750 watt with a 20 amp hour battery. Um, actually, I got that, so I'm gonna be installing that next here on the DaVinci Jack. 
So I actually have to do a little bit of work to this bike before I do the install. I got to change the shifter here. And the bike sat outside for a little bit. It got a little bit corroded and rusted. So I figure I might as well uh, change the chain and maybe the derailleur before I go and put the kit on this. So yeah, you can see here, this is all faded. So I got to probably change the shifter, but I'm going to go down to my local parts store right now and just uh, get these parts, hopefully get this changed. I was hoping to get both bikes built this weekend. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. It's taking me a bit longer to get this all sorted out. So hopefully by next weekend, I'll have both these bikes built. But that'll be the next video. And I'm going to compare the 1000 watt Bafang to the 750 watt Bafang. And if you have any questions, you're thinking about doing uh, one of these builds, uh, be happy. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have if I can answer them.